Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $82,234.98. Today I'm up $929.99 and after hours I'm up $212.96. So far for the year 2024 I'm doing pretty well. So far I've gained $8,832.52. Here are my positions. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $109 covered calls expiring April 14th, sorry, April 19th. I'm selling Disney $130 covered calls expiring April 19th. I'm selling Google $160 covered calls expiring April 19th. I'm selling PayPal $55 covered calls expiring April 19th. I'm selling SoFi $10 covered calls expiring April 19th and I'm selling Verizon $42 covered calls expiring April 19th. As for my stocks, all I have are my underlying shares that I'm using as collateral for my covered calls. Amazon, SoFi, Disney, Google, PayPal, and Verizon. And that's pretty much it. There's nothing really new to report. Things have been going well so far. I had a pretty rocky beginning of 2024 in January, but now we're nearing towards the end of February and things are looking great now. 2024 looks like it's might be a good year for me. We'll see. I have had a lot of comments from people recently. Um, like they're, they're surprised by how high my risk tolerance is because yeah, I get it. I've been online and looking at how other people react when certain things happen, like for example, there have been videos of uh, people reacting to when they lose a whole bunch of money um, all at once. But if you go back and you watch some of my older videos, there have been days where I lose $10,000 or more and I'm just fine. And that's because I prepare myself ahead of time and I invest knowing that there is a risk tied to investing this way. Now, of course, I could just buy VOO or SPY and then just hold on to it for 10 years, but that's really not my style right now. Um, I know the way I'm doing things is a little bit risky, but I have a high risk appetite. What can I say? And honestly, the way I'm investing now, it's actually way less risky than what I was doing before, which was doing debit spreads. Now, covered calls in comparison to spreads? It, this is... This feels like so low, low uh, risk to me. In comparison to what I was doing before. Of course, we're all different. And I know that for some people, doing things like covered calls might seem super risky to them. But we're all different. We all have different, you know, risk tolerances. So, of course, the way that I look at things is not going to be the same way that uh, other people look at things. So people are going to say things like, Oh my goodness, I can't believe you're doing this. I can't believe you're uh, doing margin investing and uh, covered calls aren't going to save you. Yeah, I get that. Of course, I understand that. But you have to understand, if you're, if you're shocked by what I'm doing now, you should have seen what I was doing before. I mean, I, I went all in on BABA. Close to like 100k and I went all in on BABA. And I lost, but here I am a couple years later and I'm at 82,000 now. So I'm doing what I feel comfortable doing. And, you know, compared to what I was doing before, I have lowered the riskiness of my strategy. Like what I'm doing now, like I keep on saying, it's way, way less risky than what I was doing before. This is like nothing. And I've been happy with the results. The results have been a lot greener than I anticipated. Uh, sometimes I think about doing spreads again and then I start doing the math and I don't know. It's going so well with the covered call strategy that I don't really feel a need to divert from that so often. I may maybe once in a while. If I can't buy a hundred shares of something, I might uh, do spreads. 
just to have a play on that stock. For example, if we look at something like Costco, you know what Costco's at? It's at like $752 a share. Now, if I had to buy 100 shares of this, that's a lot of money. So by doing spreads on something like Costco, I could have a bullish position while not having to spend so much money on 100 shares so that I could do covered calls on it, which is my current strategy. But yeah, most of the time, I don't think I'm desperate to go into spreads again. I'm comfortable with the covered call strategy I'm doing. And it's kind of funny to hear people say that they're worried or they're shocked that uh, what I'm doing is so risky when to me it feels super, super low risk. But hey, everyone's different. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this portfolio update. I'll keep on updating you guys, making more videos, and I'll, I'll be making more videos that are not even portfolio updates, but still talking about like maybe how much money I'm making from YouTube videos, how much money I'm spending on this or that, um, what things am I buying and then selling for a higher price other than stocks. So I'll be, I'll keep on making more videos. I've been more motivated to create more content for you guys and make more YouTube videos. So be on the lookout. All right. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you.